Okay, so hello guys, welcome to this new video and in this video we'll be taking a look at the new resurrection ROM for Zenfone 5. Now there's also a written review which will be available in the link down below in the description. Now that is from another member from our team so the reviews will be completely different. Okay, there will be some issues that he experienced that I did not. So you get two reviews from two different persons from the same device. So do take a look into the text review too which will be linked down in the description. Now the Resurrection ROM has been out for a couple of months right now but we decided to make a review video so late mainly because we wanted it to get a bit more stable. So now we have a lot of the bugs ironed out and so this is our review of the Resurrection ROM for Zenfone 5. Now going through the ROM you might find everything similar to the, the CyanogenMod 12.1 ROM that was out for Zenfone 5 previously. That's because it's mainly based upon Zenfone 5 Samsung Mod 12.1 ROM. Now this is the beta 4 update which was the last update that was released on most probably on August 29th so the change logs will be down in the description you can check that out what check changed in this beta build okay so it's on Android version 5.1.1 and as you can see uh, it's about resurrection okay so there are a lot of about pages and you know promotional pages so this is the resurrection version which is lollipop version 5.5.4 and the device model would be asus t00f now since this is based on cyanogen mod 12.1 it has almost all the bugs from the cyanogen mod 12.1 though the developers are doing a good work in fixing out a few of them. Now we have seen a quite a few updates and quite frequent updates to this ROM so we are quite hopeful about the bug fixes. So let's just quickly look into what bugs are still there right now okay so a lot of people has faced the battery drain bug but as you can see so I'm still running on 72% battery okay so the screen on time is not much I haven't used it much as you can see it's just 35 minutes and 32 seconds but on the cell standby you can see there's 3 hours and 56 minutes and 46 seconds of course I do not have network signal now if I open up the battery chart as you can see the phone has been awake for quite short periods of time even though as you can see I have a lot of social apps installed with all the apps logged in I mainly install this app so that they run in the background okay and consume RAM so we'll just quickly go into the apps and check out how much RAM is being used so personally I did not see much battery drain as of now but I'll use it up for two to three days more and I'll try to find out some other ways if the battery drain can be removed by flashing some other kernel or boot images so as you can see I have around 1 GB RAM of RAM free right now but you know as you can see there has not been a battery drain and let's just quickly look into it it shows approximately nine hours left so that's a pretty good battery life given it's a custom ROM and how a severe battery drain we had in Cyanogen Mod 12.1 the next thing that you'll notice is that is changed is that you can go to settings and you'll see the under personalization you'll find the configurations and theme chooser so the theme chooser is exactly same as the cyanogen mod 12.1 theme chooser and it does work okay so i have the touch with style theme enabled and i'll just apply the style to show you guys that it does work okay so as you can see it does work so i'll just switch back to the original theme so the themes and updates does work. Now I purposely put in my sim into the second sim slot to test it out because the first sim always works and it has been all working for everyone. Now as you can see that it does detect my sim but it still gives no network which is very weird. So that's another bug the second sim does not work as of now. The first sim does work and I did try it out but it's now in my second sim for you guys to show you guys. But the first sim does work. The next thing that I found out was buggy is that the configurations, the status bar, lock screen, notification drawer and buttons does work. It's quite the same as you can expect from a Cyanogen mod customization. But if you go to miscellaneous, it somehow crashes for some reason and it okay, it just goes back to the settings screen. 
Now, one more thing that we need to mention is that the navigation bars is you can toggle them so you can get on screen bars and even though you have on screen bars the actual hardware button still does work so i prefer not to keep the on screen bars because it just reduces the screen space available so but that's a personal choice so heading over into the other settings you can just if you have screen freezes or wi-fi disconnects all you can just do is especially for screen freezes is you can just switch these both things up so double tap to wake does work double tap to sleep also works pretty well and if you are having freezes you know you just need to switch both of these off and hopefully you won't be seeing any more freezes but with my i kept both of them on and i did not get a single screen freeze and neither did my wi-fi disconnect like many people have reported including the review on our windroidica site so that's a bug that I did not face, but most of you might face because of the various variations of the Zenfone 5 that is available out on the market. Now this phone is comes pre-rooted, sorry, the ROM comes pre-rooted. And to show that, all I can do is head over into the terminal and type in SU. Okay, so that's true bright. And hit enter and as you can see, it shows me a hash icon, which means that it has got root permissions now i can type in busybox to show you that busybox comes pre-installed too okay so there you go you know busybox does come pre-installed but there are no super user app installed so you just can head over into the play store and get it okay so the google play store works on all the google syncs and backup also works pretty well so overall this rom is quite stable for daily use except i did not see a battery drain as of yet i'll try to install a lot more apps and check it out if the battery does have a huge drain and i'll try to figure out some fixes if it's possible so that's all from this video and as you can see the resurrections rom is pretty stable but we are also getting quite frequent updates from the developers so the best thing would be to wait out for a few days okay so we might get a might more stable build don't forget to follow windroidica because we'll keep you updated with all the new builds that are coming out so that you can decide for yourself when the most stable rom comes out so thank you guys for watching and if you haven't joined our youtube or facebook pages please do subscribe and hit the like button on this video i'll see you guys in the next video